Soaking up the pre-match atmosphere here as we wait for things to get started. Won't be long now before we get through the formalities. A warm welcome, one and all. And here we have Sporting Lisbon against Porto. I'm Peter Drury, and it's my chance to say that it is an absolute delight to have Jim Beglin beside me. Thanks for the intro, Peter. I've been soaking up the atmosphere, and I'm really looking forward to what lies in store. Sporting Lisbon line up in a 4-4-2. It's the bedrock as formations go, and for such a long time, it, it places the emphasis on partnerships and combinations. Underway. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? It's Casillas for me because if he gets a little busy in this game, he has the talent and vast experience to cope with pretty much anything. He can be an extremely reassuring presence here. Yes, getting the best out of him will count for so much. Casillas will lay claim to that. Alex Telles. William Carvalho. Good idea, just poorly executed. Breaks on here. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Good clearance now. Can they make something of it? Quartes, Adrian Silva. Goes wide. Turns and goes back. Goes for goal! Goal! Well, if that was their intention pre-match, let me tell you, it's worked out very nicely. I think for the skipper to chip in with a goal too is a bonus, but this game has already taken on a real attacking edge and, and long may that continue. Oh, he was never going to miss from there. So much to aim at. Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. Sporting Lisbon take the early advantage. Aimed long and direct. Pereira going through. Andre Silva, and he's cut it out. William Carvalho. Dost. Sporting Lisbon are already ahead. The perfect start. What a good start to the game. I think their play has been fast and inventive, and, and this is a fine example of early intent. They've begun as they mean to go on, and another goal is on the cards. Well positioned to make that interception. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. That is an adventurous run down the left-hand side. Adrian Silva chooses the... Silva! Oliver Torres. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Tries a... Is it in? He has done it! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight. With time and space are plenty, he was never going to miss. And that's what the game is all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pasta to pick him out. Sporting Lisbon. A couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. 
forward it goes. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Danilo Pereira. Herrera. Played out to the right. Pereira. And it's Andre Silva. Herrera. Looks to slip it through. He's left his man. Pereira crosses into the box. And the counter is on. Now the pass. Out to the left it goes. Now, can he capitalise? And the finish! Well, that's caused a worry or two. Yeah, he may have snatched at that a bit, even though it was quite close. Wondering who wants it, and it's Andre Silva. It's gone out for a throw in. William Carvalho. Jefferson. He's on a run down the left wing. Chance to shoot. Out wide to the right. Well read, he sorted that out. Could move up a gear here. William Carvalho. Looking to shoot. Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Andre Silva spreads it wide. Well played, he saw that coming. Passes it through. What a sight of goal here. Can he finish? Oh, nearly, but nearly is nothing. A more than decent attempt, Peter. He was expecting a better ball than that. Looks like a good ball through. And he's all hit one! Makano gets good distance on it. That's a pop! They are rampant! And the lead is extended still further. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Reply. This is becoming a stroll. Herrera. Herrera tries to dink it in. Has a hit! What a save! Terrific reactions! And the first half is done. As easy as one, two, three. It really has been that straightforward halfway through the match, but very little to suggest that much will change over the second half. Peter, do I really need to say anything or can I simply refer you to the scoreline? Sporting Lisbon, three goals to the good after a really excellent first half that's been intriguing to watch. Plenty of highlights to show you during the break. So we're already into the second period. Danilo Pereira. Herrera.
Tries a through ball. Now can he finish? Shakes the shoot! Pereira goes looking. Over to the left. Cut out in the nick of time. Little accusatory stare there tells the whole story. Sport. That's an untidy challenge. Free kick given. Porter making a fresh attempt to release someone in behind from back to front. And this is something different. Now the pass. He's got away. Nicely controlled. Tries one! He's still got it, needs help. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No, it's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Jefferson. Out to the flank. Played back in. Shakes the shoots. Oh, he has stuck it into his own net. Well, that wasn't in the script, and you have to feel for him, Peter. It's ended in uh, some embarrassment. Activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Fortuitous as it may have been, they all count one. Fine defending there. Passes it through. Goes for goal! He's put it wide. Sporting are looking quite mean on the counter, and combating that requires even more meanness. Oh, he really wanted that. But that's the motivation and enthusiasm he shows, and the quality he produces. Kicked by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. Oh, good interception. And it's Andre Silva. Oh, they could break here. Herrera trying to play it through. Ah, uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. Oh, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card. Andrzej shoots! Oh, he's kept it out, that's a great save. Well, he was so quick to respond to that, he almost made it count. Great opportunism. into some space. Header! And that's past the post. The changes then in quick succession. <laughs> William Carvalho. Castaños. 
Looks like a good ball through. And it's Andre Silva. Herrera plays it into the channel. Herrera needed to come up with a better ball. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. Herrera. And it's Andre Silva. Now the pass. And the shot! Jefferson looks to slip it through. Out of play for a goal kick. Pereira. That'll be a throw in. Castaños tries a through ball going through and he's there to cut it out Marcano plays it forward he's left his man Jefferson Castaños Brian Ruiz a real chance to break and it's Andre Silva. Sebastian Cuates just did a brilliant job there. It was one of those all or nothing commitments, and he came up front. Can he score? And that's wide. a change that was in the offing last one allowed well for me this was the obvious substitution he'd become just a little jaded and as a result of that he was most likely to make a mistake I think sometimes when the body becomes tired the brain goes with it and I think that's happened in this case looks to slip it through it's got through great tackle he had to get that right William Carvalho Castaños. Now the pass. Now here's the through ball. He's had a go! Big chance, corner. Just wide. Herrera. Danilo Pereira. The final whistle. Sporting Lisbon have won big and in style. Everything went for them, their poor opponents left chasing shadows. A scintillating performance. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Well, it was engaging, if not an edge-of-your-seat encounter, and importantly, it offered the right result. So we've reached the end of our coverage for today. Many thanks to Jim Beglin alongside me, and we'll both see you next time.